Yo, what the hell is up? Okay, time to read. Hey, skaters, gamers, and everything in between. Today, we're going to be playing I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Today, I'm joined by. Draw on Freud. And. Smith Asl. Yeah. And today, uh, I'm a chef, I guess. Let's play. The uh, DLC of the Dude, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. You're poor. Yo, do they have a BTS poster? <laughs> That's a, that is! That is! Uh, the world <laughs> is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Is it wake, wake up. Now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. What should we do, guys? Three o'clock. Out the window. Smack that sh Lying in bed, oh. you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. That can't be prestigious. That's a cooking school. You're poor. <laughs> Your mind begins. Why is there a poster with chicken in the back? <laughs> That's neon chicken. It's things. chicken five! It's chicken five! <laughs> Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by. Take it seriously. Yeah, let's take this seriously, dude. This is serious cooking school. I better be prepared to Why arrive. The... Prepared it's for the running first at day. 15 FPS, bro. And... You, you buzz through your morning checklist. Teeth brushed. Hair combed. Pits deodorized. You confidently grab a biscuit, <laughs> strut out the door, and head off to class. Just what you no, needed to get your blood sexy. flowing. Sexy. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of, of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. That is not a university of cooking. That's like Harvard. That was like the kitchen! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which building do you think is the cafeteria? All of it. True. You you eat on the floors, cuh. Here comes your <laughs> lifelong best friend forever. Miriam, is she gonna kill herself by the end of this? <gasps> She's black! She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. <clears throat> Good morning, Nando's and Momos. Are you excited for the first day for the rest of our lives? <laughs> Actually, I'm... <laughs> because I'm excited! <laughs> but I'm nervous! Okay, okay. A lot of nervous. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> Like that. This morning I made breakfast for myself, and well, when I ate it, I <laughs> tasted the love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, she's crying. Yay, Not classic me. Miriam. She's depressed. Ever since oh. we were little, ever since we were little babies playing together, and you rescued me from that oh. quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the going. most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. Both the University of Cooking School. I. I, I, what? How was that word? Academy. <laughs> Academy. <laughs> For learning famous three day. Only so, wait, three day. What the? We get three days? I'm we can do this all in a video. Oh you. my god, Joe's playing it! Joe's playing it, dude! <laughs> a sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kick that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. What? 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 How? What? Bro, she better be practicing on me, on baby. <laughs> should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? What well, what should we do, guys? Uh, pep talk. Pep talk. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? They're stand users, dude. Stands, stands. The mask with the mask, the mask who gave me nightmares. I've been trying to forget. Oh, you made it worse. I know, she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things. No, wait, it was a lady with the mask. That means they're personas. They're persona users. <laughs> Remember that card with the fancy looking tower? And the other card featuring the handsome oh God, fellow in the red suit? Is that- I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow. I could talk. I could call my own- And I'm sure you will be soon. In no time, we'll be graduating. 
and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. What is he like, feeling her? You know what? Maybe everything will be okay. And if not, at least I will have these killer bangs. Pucha. Pucha. Pucha, dude. Pucha. Are you, are you saying that she's gonna get shot? Can you believe I can cut them myself? Oh my god, she's suicidal! Oh my god! Uh, I uh, cannot believe it. They're not straight. In the slightest. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books <laughs> and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's Ashley! <laughs> your arch rival! She's totally evil. She's the rival, dude! But you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She's so hot! She's, she's so hot, oh my... She can get anything she, she wants. She has the purple hair! She knows it. Oh my oh god, my you're god. right! Is it, is it... Hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there. Chicken! <laughs> it's chicken. Chickens alone. They're perfectly normal. Shit. Ugh. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact it's I actually- I know, right? <laughs> you know for a fact it's actually <laughs> Ashley, but you had to add extra letters to, to make herself feel better than everyone else. Noel. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not gonna let you let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van oh. the Man Man. Has stopped <laughs> to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see man, him the man. that you could casually see him casually working his glutes while he styles his hair. No mm. lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> <laughs> you rang rang? You've never been you sure, sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have just been as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would e ever allow y people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us over diplomas? Now. Damn. Or maybe just hire us as professionals. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Professors. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. See you later. As you approach the door, you see oh, Goofy Kid God, pushing God, hard against the that window that directly that. next to it. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Boop. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. Uh, I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after Pop Pop. He's dead. Could oh, someone yeah, like this one. also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Dead. Hi, Pop. I'm named as MMOs, so... Are you going to make me hold the door all day? No. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it me? Or is he kind of cute? Wait, hold on. Aren't these guys older, way older than him? I think it's just you, pervert. Wait, she, wait. She, she, p p p <laughs> you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure. Wait, 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 where's that guy in the corner? You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep to them, <laughs> keep themselves busy chit chatting. There's no students in the room. A scruffy looking oh adorable God, my... kid plays at the podium in front of the class. Adorable. Now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably <laughs> cute pup? And why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of racism. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. <laughs> what? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, a wind begins to rush around you and a swirl of cherry blossom petals fills the air inside the classroom. Classic anime moment. I'm chilly! Someone close the window! 
And then, all right, he walks in. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a man himself. Oh my god! It's the sexy. Oh my okay, god! Okay, screw you guys. I you called Dave on Colonel the Sanders. CEO of sexiness. You immediately slept in the aura of, of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Oh. Time stands still. It's it's your mom. If it isn't my third student. Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sp Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish the sentence. Please call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of death. Oh, no. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be a sweaty sweat salon. Maybe we should open up that window back back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates in time. I thought he had a sexy voice. Well, he was he was sexy at first, but look at that haircut. Hold on a second. Nobody talked to my friend like that. <laughs> you two both know my name. We were the same in we were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with your really weird insults? Besides <laughs> It's not gross. It's beautiful. As this shimmer. She's a, she's, she likes little boys and she likes sweat. Oh my god. You take a moment to clean yourself up. That's it's a good thing on. you didn't forget about that deodorant. This classroom is hot, 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 hot. <sighs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School. An academy for learning the greatest culinary academies in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your spar- Forks. Forks. The monkey. <laughs> Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. So that I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss- QUIET! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? Yep, here, young man. And are you even sure you're in the right place? D don't you recognize me? This is my third year in school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm your <coughs> expelled if you utter one more word before I think. Let that be a lesson to you students that tarting it. Even Clank made it here on time, counting his tiny wheels. Who's Clank? Who's Clank? You turn to the student who Sprinkles is referencing to, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. <laughs> class bursts into laughter. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkle walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you're, you definitely need a You should be taking better care. You've never had a talking dog as your teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. Mr. Ruff Ruff. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Wait, wait, okay, why do you have a beef snack, a chicken snack, and a rubber ball in your pocket? You need your apron with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes wide as he locks onto it. His favorite! <laughs> well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star. Oh yeah, there's a chicken right there too. Oh, this guy's, man, this guy's greedy. The as furry fuck. professor Please. immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coat of warm doggy drool. You see other <laughs> students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed at life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have racing possibilities of culinary. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. And we have a surprise guest! It's Joe Jose Joe Star! This is Christ Joe, hold on. Hey, Nam, does Emma Mose, there's still a seat here. It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me. If you're interested. Oh, God, what do I do? <laughs> sit by Colonel! It's Colonel Sanders who the game is all about, man. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. 
However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. <laughs> Thank you for offering me this seat. I've only ever had two rules. Do all you can, and do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get to they have that feeling of accomplishing something. Is he medic? Fuck. That's so inspiring. <laughs> A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Stay fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay, a quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for this, uh, for life at culinary. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If, a, if train A is traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A, how is it to wash your hands before cooking? How does this have to do with Bro, extremely you your hands. That's right! Forest is to treat as chicken is to smash! Night vision goggles. Night vision goggles. That's right. Night vision goggles. Job. <laughs> what is the most efficient pork? A meat tenderizer. Sport. No, it's a sport, dude. <laughs> what food is a broken heart? Well, that's easy. It's anything as long as it's prepared with a lot of love. It's Pringles a good boy. He's the best boy. I did it perfect, dude! He made a question crazy. Wow. Be honest, did you cheat? Yeah, I had three other people. Oh, yeah, we did it! I had three other people tell me the answers. Hey, it was so you see, dude, shh, you look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. Yeah, all the answers were, do you want to wash your hands, or is he a good boy? I know we just met, but I have to confess, I think you have a beautiful brain. Oh my god, I'm gonna date Colonel oh Sanders. My <laughs> Hot diggity, Nam does MMOs. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your... Attention students, I have an important child. Okay, uh, I think that's where we're gonna stop it for today. <laughs>